Hi, this is Jeff Cote with Pacific Yacht Systems. Do we have your attention yet? Today we're going to be discussing ways to reduce the risk of electrical fire on your boat. At PYS, when we prioritize client projects, safety is always at the top of our list. And one of the main areas of safety that we focus on is eliminating the risk of fire aboard boats. Preventing fire aboard a boat is imperative because unlike a house, a boat is typically hard to run away from and has significantly less escape routes. It's interesting to note that boat fires are commonly caused by electrical issues, such as a short. For a DC system, a short occurs whenever a positive or negative wire touch without any real resistance between the two. Consequently, unlimited current flows through the wire, which easily exceeds the amount the wire can carry. The result? A really hot wire, what I like to call hot as magma, which has the potential to ignite anything nearby on fire. In this demo, we have a properly fused circuit. The fuse is placed at the source of the power. When shorted, the wire downstream of the fuse is protected. In this demo, we have an improperly fused circuit. Even though we have a fuse, it's located far away from the source of power. When the wire is shorted before the fuse, the fuse serves no purpose, and the wire will get extremely hot. In our home, incoming AC electrical currents have circuit breakers which protect the wire in case of a short. In boats, circuit breakers or fuses serve the same purpose. Therefore, every circuit, be it AC or DC, should be properly fused. The placement of the fuse is really important because it only protects the wire downstream of where it's located, and therefore a fuse should always be placed at or very near the source of power. In this demo, we have a correctly fused circuit. Each wire, both large and small, has an appropriately sized fuse. In the event of a short, downstream of the fuses, the smallest fuse will blow and protect the wires. In this demo, we have an improperly fused circuit. Only the large wires fuse. When a short occurs on the small wire, it is left unprotected by the large fuse and will become extremely hot. VBYC has specific regulations on the fusing of AC and DC circuits. However, some boat owners lack the understanding of these principles and regulations and sometimes make improper installations on their boats. We estimate that 100 times to 1, electrical problems aboard boats are caused by do-it-yourself owners rather than the manufacturers. While this poses a question, how do you know if the electrical system on your boat is properly fused? In our opinion and from experience, if the wiring is messy, it's typically an indication that your electrical system should be further looked at. If you don't know what to look for, give us a call and talk to our team about the right fusing for your boat's electrical system. Thanks for watching and enjoy your time out on the water.